In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable macros and save as a macro-enabled workbook. So, let's say you open up a workbook that has macros in it, and you try to run a macro, macros, and um, sure, I'll run that one, run, and you get this error. It says, because of your security settings, macros have been disabled. To run macros, you need to reopen this workbook, blah, blah, blah. Or, you might have a bar up here that says, enable macros. If you have that bar, just click on Enable Macros. That's the easiest way. If you get those errors about macros not being enabled, what you do is you go to File, Options, Trust Center, Trust Center Settings, Macro Settings, and then Enable All Macros. Or you can disable macros without, um, and then have it notify you if you want to enable the macros. That's the safest way if you're a little scared of um, bugs and viruses and things like that coming through macros. Use this second option and then you can always enable the macros when it notifies you. I use this one because well, I use macros constantly. So enable all macros is what I use. Hit OK. Hit OK. And then if we try to run a macro, let's see what happens. Run. Uh oh, I have to reopen it. Okay, so let me close this. Yep, let me save. Reopen whatever workbook. Here's one with macros in it. Try to run a macro. Run. And it runs. Excellent. It printed that. So that's how you enable macros. Now let's say I want to save a workbook as a macro enabled workbook. Let me go back here and save this one. This one has macros in it. Uh, we can see here are those macros. So if I try to save this just as a regular xlsx file, dot xlsx, Look what it tells me. It says, whoa, these the following features cannot be saved in a macro-free workbook, VB projects. So you need to save it as a macro-enabled, that's XLSM, workbook, and hit save. Now you'll see at the top here is book2.xlsm, and these are macro-enabled workbooks. That's how you do it.